think we've got a bit of an experiment. So we're going to talk briefly uh, about some RC stuff. Yes. And um, in particular, um, we've got some RC car tires. We're going to do an, ex do an experiment of cutting one in half so we can show you what's inside. Well, I guess a lot of people wouldn't um, really know how, uh, I guess, technological and complicated that racing tires are. Yes. I mean, the early tires weren't so complicated. That's right. I mean, the Tamiya days in the 80s, I just used to call all the tires yeah. semi pneumatic, which meant it's sort of pumped up, yes, which means it's, it's just the air that's in it, right? <laughs> yes. So it's just rubber yes. and the air that's in it, and then on a wheel. Yes. But now it's much more complicated. Definitely. Hmm. There's uh, essentially three three components to the wheel. So you've got yep. obviously the wheel, plastic yep. wheel, white normally. Yep. Uh, it can be spoked yep. um, or, or full, normally full for touring car. Yep. And then you have the rubber yep. trackers and yep. the inserts, which represent the tire pressure. The tire pressure. Yep. And that's where the you know, it's a very important tuning factor because the size and the uh, thickness and the consistency of the insert Yes. can make the tire very very differently that's right so so we have some sweeps here which we just receive again it's probably one of the top of one of the most performing wheels in, in the market yeah and this one here and you're gonna cut it yep so i mean tires are a very important part i, I think if you don't have the right tires for a particular track yes it doesn't matter how much you change on the car itself that's it's right. not going to make up for that lack of traction that's right so let's see if we can do this it's going to do the chop chop all right, so we're going to have a look in the inside. So if you hear the noise, is actually the Kevlar of um, of that is glued to the tire that is actually tearing apart. Yes. Like cutting a cake. <laughs> like cutting a cake. Oh, if a cake looked like this, I don't know if I want to eat it. But then again, if I was really hungry, I'll still get into it. Absolutely. So we've done that half is done well. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's tough. Well, they've got to be tough for a reason because. These particular tyres are designed to handle very, very high stresses because the cars can be travelling down a straight anywhere up to 100 kilometres an hour. Most of the time it'll be slower than that, but you've got G-forces involved as well. Um, and then uh, because of that, so the materials of the wheels have um, uh, improved over time. They're generally quite a bit more flexible these days. Um, but I mean, the, the material of the wheel also helps with the handling. That's so right. a soft wheel is going to um, give you more traction but less, I guess, directional stability because it's flexing a lot. And then a stiffer wheel is going to give you more stability, but uh, it's going to be um, harder to drive. So these particular wheels are probably an in-between. They're tough. Definitely. So they're not going to shatter like some wheels. Um, right. You've got a bit of give to them. I see that's a... I think we are almost true. Yep, you almost there. Yeah, let's see. It's going mm -hmm. to be a little it. bit. There's going to be difficult here. I don't think we're going to crack open the middle part. No? Are we? Oh, I'll give it a go. You give it a go? Yeah, I'll give All it a right. go. So here we have a wheel that exploded actually, and I think Brett exploded this one. And uh, yeah, where, where was he driving it? I think on the street actually. <laughs> and, um, it's, it's uh, illegal driving on a, on a street at uh, some kind of 100 kilometers an hour on a Mini. And as you can see here, you have your insert. And you can probably see this part here, which is actually the clever, the Kevlar um, that is actually stuck to the rubber, and that's preventing the tire from ballooning uh, and and exploding, perhaps too. So that's quite important. And the width of the Kevlar uh, on the tires would produce different results on 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 uh, how the, the tires are going to perform. And um, the carcasses, as you can see, can be flat or be more round, so we'll sit differently on 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 the road. Uh, so quite a few different aspects. Uh, the shoulder or the side, the side wall is also quite important because that's where you're going to glue the tire to the rim here. So if you know that that's an important aspect of all this. There we go. We have an so, admission from Brett. Well, yeah. So Brett admitted that he was testing his mini on 3s, I think. Really? Uh, no. Uh, up and down his his street at 9 p.m. at night, I would add, um, and this happened. So after this, he decided to go for some foam tires, which did really well from memory. They did, yeah, for a while. And then eventually they exploded too. So it looks like BJ's made it. Oh, we're getting there. So that right. gives you an idea of how tough the, the wheel is. But so I don't think I'm going to race these wheels again. There you go. Um, that gives you a good idea. All right. So that's where we want to get to. So that's a really good cross section actually. So as you can see, it's all made to fit in perfectly. So that's your 
insert that is kind of meeting with the tire. That's so so the, the pink bit? The pink bit is the insert. Yes. Uh, and then obviously you've got the black Oh, the, the, bead, the bead of the tire? Yeah. Yep. Let's see if you can get close enough here. Probably be able to take it a bit tall, higher, I think. Let's go see. Well, yep. here we go. So as you can see, it's all fitting in perfectly because that's where you're going to put a glue in that corner there. Yep. And that's really important because it must be able to hold some crazy stress. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and here's what I like to show. So you've got inserts. This is pink. And that is different type of inserts which will have different um, slightly different dimensions. Yes. And the gap between the insert and the tire here yes. is what's going to make the difference. Yep. So and larger or smaller gaps will produce um, very different traction yes. uh, and will perhaps get the tire to warm up faster or slower. Yes. And so that's a tuning factor. So we have these tires normally with a couple of different um, inserts mm -hmm. that's suited to different tracks and different applications. Yep. Also a firmer uh, insert prevents uh, the tires from bending during cornering, which yep. is this so kind of forming like this. Forming like this. Yeah. Hopefully you can see on the camera, but the forming, which if you have high traction is very important because there is a risk of tearing the wheel apart or the rubber apart. Yes. Uh, all these are belted as, as I was saying before with Kevlar. So this Kevlar that is, there is a yeah. like belted Kevlar that goes all around. Yeah, just on the inside. On the inside. A, a bit like a bit like belted on a real car tire. So it stops the tire from expanding fully. Yes. Yeah. And so um, that's how a touring car tire is made. Hmm. Actually, I can't say I've chopped one like this. It's quite interesting. It's really yes. easier to understand what's going that's on there. Right. I had this in mind for a while, actually, that uh, would have been good to see. I've never seen it myself how it's made inside like this. I mean, yeah. you, you can guess it. Yes. Um, but when you squeeze it, you get a better idea of you yeah. know, when it's going across driving surfaces, so what's happening see. inside. So, so when, you, when you're cornering, everything will move on one side and the other. Yes. So you can imagine the amount of stress that will go in. See, like this. And yeah. then, as you see, this one has been used and re glued a few times. So when you race, eventually um, it can come a little bit and glue, lift a little bit. So every mm -hmm. after every race, my suggestion is to put a little bit of glue around to prevent this from uh, coming and glue and rolling yeah. even. Yeah, because yeah. you can see yeah. this one, it's it's coming a little bit unglued here. This has had a few battles when uh, when I drive every now and then. I you have a battle here. I have a battle with the fence. Right. <laughs> um, and this happens. Uh, right. But so it's always important with like with everything when you play with remote control cars to maintain it yes. and to check it. So before you go racing again, just give it a good check. So yep. you see if uh, you know if, if you need to put a bit of glue. If you see on the inside, inside is perfect actually because obviously you don't have any impact. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and so it's in good nick. So these are made by Sweep. There's a few different manufacturers obviously producing these tires. Hmm. And um, a slightly different application is a Sweep. Later Sweep is uh, EXX uh, compound. Yep. That's good. It's really informative. Definitely. We had a comment from Kenan saying that they really liked how you were using the Atlas knife to cut those. Oh, yes. you recognize that? Yeah. Ah, that's a classic and, and knife. You'll see here too, it, it, it has train department written on it so because we pinched it from Marlon. He doesn't know yet. No, this is actually John's knife. <laughs> and uh, we need to thank John for actually letting us use his knife. Yes. Yes. So that's a bit of history on this one. I, I don't even know how old these things would be. This design would go back a long time. Definitely. Like, they're still for sale, actually. Yep, and they work really well. And uh, originally were designed for a uh, cutting railway truck. Yes. It's a very fine uh, tooth. You just cut it as straight as you can to make it really as square as you can. So. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Very good. It's good cutting wheels and tires. All right, so this is for touring car wheels today. Good. Good. Let's park this one.